Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm rather surprised that so many of you are here. Very good. Well, uh, it was 40 years ago that we could collect the material you are going to see now. 40 years was enough to make you see the difference then and today. And now people are beginning to rediscover their own identity. Many of the islanders who have lived there before went to find maybe a better life in main part of Japan, mainland. And many of them are coming back now to rediscover own island culture and feel at home again. My husband was, as she said, a man of cultural anthropology. It was his wish to make research. Going back to the source of the Japanese belief system, Japanese folk religion, which has much to do with ancestor worship. And he has gone so far to the Sapporo with me, so we have gone so far to the southernmost island of maybe some 3,000 islands of Japanese archipelago. The southernmost island is called Hateruma, island at the extreme end, Hate no Urumajima, coral island. So let me invite you now to this little island, almost close to Taiwan. on the television in connection with Typhoon winning. Yes, it is indeed. Uh, we call that this whole neighborhood of Yayama Group is in the highway of Typhoon. Climate is not very mild, not very gentle. It is not an easy life on the island. That's why people are very much dependent on their religion, their belief in 
invisible energy in, in gods. Let's go further. Well, this is a pier of the bigger island Ishigaki. From here, it took three and a half hours by this little boat to the south, to Hateruma, going over wild, wild waves. On this little boat, there were nice noodles to eat. Yes, it's really oishi. <laughs> Let's go to the island. Here you see just a flat island, coral island, Hateruma, as it looked 40 years ago. Now the silhouette of the island has changed. There are some things standing. Yes? Television antenna, water tower, and so on. So we go the island. Boys were still very active. As uh, people see these pictures these days, they say, oh, that is your father. <laughs> and then, no, that's your father too, and so on. Because these little boys or these young kids are now like 45 years old, 50 years old. Mother is showing we had to find the octopus to have a son. Time of typhoon. And then we could go further, the island inward. Here, they used to cut a piece of rock to cover their grave mound. And we go further into the direction of village. I'll show you some of the botanical variety. That is a male sotetsu, so-called. And the next one is the female sotetsu, as they call it. And this is the Chonsen Asagao, the pure. And Ryuzetsu century plant. And then, well, they love to keep goats. Goats milk, they are drinking, but they are also Goats are also kept to be offered to uh, religious occasions. Water buffaloes we used to have, we don't have them anymore. And these huts are, or they used to be used to keep goats in and sometimes to keep agricultural utensils. And for young people, it was a place of rendezvous. Because <laughs> it's not so easy, you know, in Japanese houses, there are just sliding doors. <laughs> and still children were being, being made, so I think uh, it was more comfortable. Then. <laughs> That's what I heard then. Well, here, you see the nets hanging. There used to be lots of fishers. They don't do much of fishing anymore. These days, they are doing much of their labor in cultivating sugar cane. But they used to have a big fishery. And on this side, on the left side of the screen, you, have, you see just a little bit of the kiln to make uh, roof tiles. Here you see well, kind of mound. On the, on the top of this mound, they used to make a smoke to give signals to alarm people. Hey, the boat is coming to collect the tax. And they had to give most of what they could cultivate on their land, which was like Rice was the best kind, and the millet, 